السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله This is Riyad Al-Zazi We're coming you to the stories of the prophets and today inshallah ta'ala we are with episode number 26 subhanallah 26 today and we're still with lessons from the story of Yusuf alayhi salam and that is episode or session number nine session number nine episode number 26 uh, i hope everybody's doing great i hope you're enjoying and taking advantage of these uh, few days of the hijjah the first 10 days of the hijjah uh, just to give a you know a minute or two for more people to join i want to remind myself and remind you my brothers and my sisters on Facebook and on Instagram uh, that inshallah I said that yesterday right but let me say it again with regard to trying to increase from our ibadat you know in this especially in these these 10 days which be, because these 10 days are the most beloved the best 10 days in the in the entire world in the entire year and also in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <clears throat> so we need to do a little bit more example if you're only praying the five daily prayers inshallah ta'ala within these 10 days try to do a little bit more you know try to do sunan if you do sunan already then try to do nafl right increase whatever that you're doing increase uh, don't miss out for instance uh, don't miss out for instance the the salat al duha so that the duha that starts from after sunrise all the way until about 20 minutes before the it's called salat al duha don't miss that right try to do as many good deeds as you can and increase if you were to you know the quran for instance the citation of the quran if you if you normally recite you know one juz then do a juz and a half you know within these 10 days if you normally recite you know one page then do two pages if you don't recite at all, then pick up the Quran and recite. So, like I said, whatever you do from good deeds, try in these 10 days to do a little bit more, inshallah. Why? Because these 10 days are very, very special, very special, you know, days. Uh, and who knows? Nobody knows. You don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you're gonna make, I'm going to make it until 2021. If I'm gonna make it until tomorrow, if I'm gonna make it until you know whatever, you know, nobody knows. So I might as well, you know, do take advantage, inshallah ta'ala, of these remaining you know uh, days from the hijjah. So today is you know, yesterday was the first day, today is the second day, you know, of the hijjah. Today is the second day of the hijjah, today is Thursday. I hope you're fasting today, or I hope you fasted today. And those of you who cannot fast, inshallah ta'ala, as soon as you know you get cleared then start you know making do the intention to start your fasting inshallah ta'ala because this is one of the another great deed that you could do in these 10 days inshallah ta'ala sadaqa try to do also sadaqa inshallah if you were to go out now you can even do sadaqa online you don't have to go to a masjid to give a donation you can give a donation online right so try to go and do a little bit of sadaqa here a little bit of sadaqa there try to diversify your 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 deeds and your actions inshallah ta'ala so you don't get bored right and another beautiful i call it the icing of the cake brothers and sisters i call it the icing on the cake you people a lot of you mashallah maybe are great bakers you know you bake uh, uh cakes and you know and you put maybe some chocolate on top the icing on the cake which is like the very final touch that you do on the cake you know what that is for me qiyam al layl the night prayer the night prayer is like the icing on the cake and then you put that uh you know that that uh, that cherry on top <laughs> you know that cherry <laughs> i don't know why i laughed when i said cherry <laughs> it's a beautiful word cherry because you know yeah we spoke about this cherry they call he calls you cherry right so you know the icing on the cake and then the cherry on top qiyam al -Lil the night prayer is the icing on the cake and that little cherry you know so inshallah ta'ala uh try try you know try you know <laughs> try inshallah as much as you can to um uh to increase from your ibadah so brothers and sisters welcome welcome to the stories of the prophets today we are with episode number 26 
session number nine still talking about lessons from the story of Yusuf alayhi salam so a quick review for what you know about things that we spoke about yesterday inshallah ta'ala starting from uh, verse number uh, verse number 35 36 36 from Surah Yusuf A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem wa dakhala ma'ahu as-sijna fatayan qala ahaduhuma inni arani a'siru khamara wa qala al-akhar inni arani قال وقال الآخر إني أراني أحمل فوق رأسي خبزا تأكل الطير منه نبئنا بتأويله إنا نراك من المحسنين قال لا يأتيكما طعام ترزقانه إلا نبأتكما بتأويله إلا نبأتكما بتأويله قبل أن يأتيكما ذلكما مما علمني ربي إني تركت ملة قوم لا يؤمنون بالله وبالآخرة هم كافرون واتبعت ملة آبائي إبراهيم وإسحاق ويعقوب ما كان لنا أن نشرك بالله من شيء ذلك من فضل الله علينا وعلى الناس ولكن ولكن أكثر الناس لا يشكرون يا صاحبي السجن أأرباب متفرقون خير أم الله أم الله الواحد القهار ما تعبدون من دونه إلا أسماء سميتموها أنتم وآباؤكم ما أنزل الله بها من سلطان إن الحكم إلا لله إن الحكم إلا لله أمر أن لا تعبدوا إلا إياه ذلك الدين القيم ولكن أكثر الناس لا يعلمون يا صاحبي السجن أما أحدكما فيسقي ربه خمرا وأما الآخر فيصلب فتأكل الطير من رأسه قضي الأمر الذي فيه تستفتيان وقال للذي ظن أنه ناج منهما وقال للذي ظن أنه ناج منهما اذكرني عند ربك فأنساه الشيطان ذكر ربه فلبث في السجن بضع سنين آه Surah Yusuf, if you were to read it, you feel the coolness coming down, subhanAllah. You feel the softness. You really feel that softness. It's such a very beautiful surah. You feel the ease. You feel serenity. In fact, the Quran, when you read the Quran in its entirety, you feel that serenity. <laughs> الذين آمنوا وتطمئن قلوبهم بذكر الله ألا ألا بذكر الله تطمئن القلوب Those believers those be, uh, الذين آمنوا and they, their hearts find ease with the members of Allah Indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Surely, verily, that hearts shall find ease with the members of Allah Azza wa Jalla and the best remembrance of Allah, my brothers and sisters, the best dhikr, the best dhikr is Qur'an. Qara the best dhikr is the recitation of the Qur'an. This is in Surah uh, uh, Layla, in Surah Ra'd, verse number 88, talking about the, you know, الَّذِينَ قُلُوبُهُمْ Those who remember Allah Azza wa Jal, indeed, you know, they will find ease with the remembrance of Allah. Indeed, hearts will find serenity and ease with the remembrance of Allah. So my brothers and sisters, yesterday 
We talked about, you know, those uh, when he went to prison after, you know, uh, he was wrongfully accused in his honor. So they, you know, and he chose prison. So he went to prison and in prison, he didn't just, you know, give up. And this is another lesson that we learned from the story of Yusuf, alayhi salam. You know, you never give up. You don't lose hope. You will see the beautiful advice that Yaqub will give his children, you know, after, you know, to go and look and search for the, for, 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 uh, you know, their, their, their brother, you know, to never despair from the mercy of Allah. So he did not despair. He, you know, he started giving da'wah there in the, you know, in jail. These two people came to him. One of them saw this dream, uh, uh, pressing, uh, uh, wine and the other one was seen himself being crucified and then a bird eating bread you know from uh, from uh, from his head so before he um, uh, interpreted the dream for them he he spoke he gave them you know beautiful da'wah he spoke about himself he spoke about his background he spoke about you know uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the honor the grace of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the blessings of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know he spoke about so many things and then at the end he interpreted the dream and that dream he says one of them he will serve alcohol to his uh, to his master to his lord and at the time at that time alcohol was not made prohibited right yasqirabbahu khamra Khamar, at that time, alcohol was not prohibited. And then the other one, he told him that he will, he shall be killed. He shall be crucified. He shall be killed. And then he says, your matter has been ordained. Khalas, there is no discussion. You won't come back to me and tell me, is it another fatwa, another explanation, another this or that. He says, you know, now your matter has been ordained. But then he goes, because I asked this question yesterday, my brothers and sisters. I said, you know, he goes to that man that was supposed to be freed. And then he told him, once you're freed, mention my name, mention my story to the king. فَأَنْسَاهُ الشَّيْطَانُ ذِكَرَ رَبِّهِ فَلَبِثَ فِي السِّجْنِ بِضْعَ سِنِينَ So Allah Azza wa made shaitan, you know, shaitan made him forget, you know, made that man forget. And then he did not mention, you know, him to his lord, to his king. And then Yusuf alayhi salam, he remained in jail for, you know, بِضْعَ سِنِينَ بِضْعَ سِنِينَ, my brothers and sisters, normally بِضْعَ in Arabic, means between seven to nine years bid'a bid'a sinin oh by the way bid'a sinin falabitha fi sijni bid'a sinin uh and here in this surah you know in this very very soon we will we will come to the difference between sana and am i mentioned this you know when we talked about the story of nuh alayhi salam in arabic the difference between sana and am in english it just says year but in arabic there is a difference between sana and am so here you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, made shaitan to, made, made that man forget to mention his name to the Lord, to his, uh, to his master. And then Yusuf remained in jail. My brothers and sisters, I asked that question. Why? Why Allah azza wa jal made, you know, shaitan made that man forget? Remember yesterday, brothers and sisters, this is what we left off. And you, you know, you gave me some suggestions and I said, I will let you know today. So do you remember? Because this is so far what we have spoken about, right? This is what we have spoken about so far. You people remember this, right? Yes, inshallah. So that's how I can give you my explanation, bi'idhnillah. Right? Bismillah. Nasima from uh, Facebook and Shehnaz. Dula Rob. Yasmin. Those of you on Instagram. Yes. Yalla, bismillah. Tayyip. Right. Brothers and sisters, this is really interesting. This is very interesting. And this is very also powerful. Very extremely powerful. You know, uh, Yusuf alayhi salam, you know, he's a prophet now. Now he knows that he's a prophet. He has ilm. Allah azza wa has taught him ilm. Right? So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to teach Yusuf a lesson. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to teach Yusuf alayhi salam a lesson. Right? Don't connect or you know uh, uh or no, don't connect your heart with anybody else other than me other than allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you ask as the prophet muhammad says when you ask ask allah when you seek refuge of seek refuge in allah if the entire mankind comes together from instant jinn trying to benefit you and allah does not want you to be benefited you shall not be benefited when the entire man come from instant jinn, they try to harm you, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not want to harm you, you should not be harmed. Do you understand? Yusuf alayhi salam, in that very particular instant, 
instead of connecting and keeping and asking Allah Azza alone to reveal his innocence, he spoke to the man and he says, mention me to the king. Allah Azza taught him a lesson. He, Allah made, you know, shaitan made him forget and then he remained in jail for seven to nine years. When you ask, oh Yusuf, Yusuf, you, you, you're the prophet. You don't ask nobody else. You don't ask nobody else. You ask Allah Azza wa alone. Yunus alayhi salam. Allah Azza wa taught him a lesson as well. You know, we're going to talk about the, the lesson and, and the story of Yunus alayhi salam at due time, you know. But same thing, you know, uh, Allah Azza wa wanted to teach him a lesson. He left without the permission of Allah Azza wa Yusuf right here, instead of connecting and only relying on Allah, which he does. He does. You know, he's a prophet. But then in that, that very particular instant, he just thought, maybe if I mention, you know, if this guy mentioned my story to the king, the king will know how, you know, about my innocence and they will free me. That very particular instant is not befitted from a prophet. A prophet would only, you know, seek help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and from nobody else. A prophet does not seek help from anyone, only from Allah azza wa jal. So my brothers and sisters, does that make a little bit sense to you now? You know, why shaitan made that man forget? Does that make a little bit sense to you now? Why shaitan made that man forget? Huh? Humaira Toker, Iman, Layla, Mu'nisan, Zoya, Yashmin. Does that make a little bit of sense now? You know, especially for the prophet. When you ask, you ask Allah alone. Don't ask anybody else. You asked me before, you know, to to uh, 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 save you from the plot of the women, and I saved you. Allah Azza wa says to Yusuf Alif Salam, "Yani, huh? You made that du'a for me, and you asked me, and you sought, for, you know, help for me to save you from 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 uh, the plot of the women, and I did. So here, you know, you want to be free? Don't ask anybody else. Ask me. Why are you asking that boy? Why are you asking that man to tell the king?" I can make things happen because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as I mentioned before, can make things happen with the means or without the means or against the means. With the means or against the means or without the means, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So don't ask nobody else, especially you, you, Yusuf, you're a prophet. And you know better. You ask Allah, you ask me only. Right? Now something let me move you sisters and brothers from this scene and take and take you to the palace let me take you to the palace right are you with me the palace now you look imagine like a palace beautiful you know uh beautiful mashallah uh pillows and 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 sofas and sofa beds and and whatever you know beautiful things happening beautiful food and drink served and then the ministers sitting the king Let's go to the king. No, 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 no. Let me take you inside the chamber of the king. I told you, I am very kinesthetic and very, uh, 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 you know, there's some people who are kinesthetic. There's some people who are visual and there's some people who are audio, right? They, you know, they just need no know for me. I'm visual and I'm very kinesthetic. So I'm going to take you. I like things to be visual. I'm going to take you to the chamber of the king. The king is sleeping. He's sleeping in this beautiful huge bed right beautiful huge bed he's sleeping you know there's uh drapes beautiful drapes and you know and maybe next to him there's this maid with this uh thingy you know like a uh, blowing some air because he's they don't have no acs they don't have they don't have no air conditioning or anything so maybe he has uh, uh there's no fans there's no electricity so there's uh somebody there like a maid a servant or a slave you know holding you know this uh fan and then just like you know you know tenderly you know shaking it so that they can the king can sleep beautifully you know having this beautiful beautiful you know uh breeze coming you know in like a yeah now i'm something like that right and he's sleeping all of a sudden he wakes up Ah, he wakes up. He wakes up, you know, and he's kind of like a uh, uh, little bit, you know, terrified. What happened? What happened? And then uh, the maid was there, the servant, the slave was there. Uh, uh, I saw a dream. Uh, I saw a dream. I saw a dream. Uh, this is, oh, yeah, you know, I saw a dream. I, I was going to say, but the, 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 the king, he does not know that day, right? So, uh, uh, 
call, 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 call my ministers, call my ministers. They call the ministers and the king is so, you know, really uh, perturbed and so disturbed. Uh, and, and they just run in I, I see, as if I see them all running. Yeah, the king is, you know, they're all, uh, oh, of course, no, get up. The, the king wants you. Everybody's, no, no, get up. Yeah, and they all now, they, they, they all woke up and they're running, going back to the king's chamber, right? And then, and then the king is mesquite maybe putting his head on his uh, his hand on his uh, forehead what happened king what happened ya yeah, aziz masr what happened king i saw a dream a disturbing dream disturbing dream what have you seen what kind of dream have you seen he said وقال الملك إني أرى سبع سبقرات سمان يأكلهن سبع عجاف وسبع سنبلات خضر وأخر يابسات يا أيها الملأ أفتوني في رؤياي أفتوني في رؤياي إن كنتم للرؤيا تعبرون you know, when you wake up, sometimes you wake up thirsty, so you want to drink. And there is that guy, his slave, the guy who serves the king, drinks, you know, wine. So because wine was, you know, permissible at the time, so the, some guy brought him maybe some water. He says, no, I want no water. Give me some drinks. I, I saw this disturbing dream. So there's only one guy who serves him that drink, the khamar. You know, it was the guy who was in prison. So he was there with them as well. You see the story, how it works? This is how it works. You know, I'm trying to play it for you so that you can see what's going on. So that man was also there with them, but he was quiet. He was not talking, he was quiet. The ministers are there. The ministers are there, everybody's there. And then the king says, I saw, verily I saw seven fat cows. Seven, you know, when, you, when he says seven fat cows, don't think, brothers especially, brothers, don't think cow, seven fat cows you know, don't make it look like human cows, okay? Because sometimes, brothers, we men, we tend to, you know, visualize things too much, right? Uh, seven fat cows are fat cows. Baqara. Baqara. In, in, in Urdu, they call it Baqara. <laughs> Baqara. <laughs> it's Baqara, right? You know, seven fat cows. They're not humans. They're not uh, women. They're not. They're seven fat cows, okay? Uh, this is just, you know, I put that as a side note. Seven. So the king said, I saw seven fat cows. <laughs> I saw seven fat cows whom seven lean ones were devouring. That's really a, a, a scary dream. So he saw seven fat cows and seven skinny ones, like lean ones, lean ones. And normally the fat cows will devour and attack the lean ones but he saw the seven lean you know uh, skinny cows are devouring those seven fat cows not only that not only that and then he saw you know of seven ears and then i said and then i saw he said no 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 the king still you know this is a long dream and then he saw uh seven green ears of corn and seven other ones that are dry very disturbing dream seven skinny cows eating seven fat cows and then he saw seven uh, uh seven um uh yani seven uh, dry uh green ears and seven uh, 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 I mean, seven green, e uh, uh, seven green ears of corn, and seven dry, you know, uh, dry ears of corn. What is this? You know, what's the story? I mean, I don't understand. What's this? Seven cows eating seven fat ones. He got so scared. The ministers did not know how to interpret the dream. They said, they said, "Qalu ya ayyuhal maluftuni fi ru'ya ya in kuntum li ru'ya ta'abun." قالوا أضغاث أحلام وما نحن بتأويل الأحلام بعالمين قالوا أضغاث أحلام وما نحن بتأويل الأحلام بعالمين they said they said uh, these are just mixed up false dreams don't worry about it 
Don't worry about it. They just mixed up false dreams. Because my brothers and sisters, there's a problem with a lot of people. Sometimes they see a dream and they have to go around asking for the interpretation of that dream. Brothers and sisters, as a side note, again, please don't do that. Yes, if you keep seeing a dream that keeps recurring, you know, you know, once or twice or three times or four times, the same dream keep on recurring. Maybe you can find someone who can try to interpret, you know, that dream for you. But not any dream. We do not derive our ahkam from dreams. We do not derive our rulings from dreams. A dream is a dream. There are good dreams and bad dreams. Bad dreams are from shaitan. Good dreams are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We call them ru'ya. We call them ru'ya. We call them, you know, visions. So if you see a good dream, you know, maybe share it with the loved ones, those who are that are close to you. You can share with them the good dream. But any bad dream, forget about it. The Prophet Muhammad says, if you're here to see a bad dream at night, get up. You know, if it's a bad dream, blow air, dry air, you know, be in, on your left, seven, you know, three times. Don't spit at your wife. She's probably sleeping next to you or whoever is sleeping there. So don't keep on, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, spit, you know, don't, if you're to spit, don't spit at her. But this is dry spit, like, it's not, there's nothing. Dry spit, you know, and say, and don't and then change positions or get up and make wudu and pray if you were to pray to the the prophet muhammad says i you know that dream will never harm you you know nothing will harm you but don't share bad dreams with others because you are you know likely make it to happen if you were to share that bad dream with others likely make it to happen so don't share that bad dream with anyone if it's a good dream then you can share it. If it's so and so, you don't know. There is a message. Move on. But if something that keeps on recurring, recurring, maybe you can find someone who understands about dreams to tell you what maybe the meaning could be. Wallahu ta'ala alam. Again, so the ministers they said, These are mixed up false dreams, and we don't have that knowledge of interpreting dreams. Just leave it alone. Now, the servant, as if somebody slapped him on the face. That slave who serves the king uh, uh, wine, as if somebody slapped him on the face, and then he remembered. He says, And the Naja, and then the guy who got saved from those two prisoners, those two companions that were with Yusuf alayhi salam, the one that was saved and, and got freed. And then he remembered after that so many days, so many يعني, years, after so many years he remembered. I, I can tell you, I can help you king, king, my lord, my lord, maybe they call them my lord, my lord, I can help, I can help, I know somebody who can interpret dreams. Send me. So he, they send him to Yusuf. So he goes to Yusuf. Yusuf ayyuha siddiq Oh Yusuf, now he's calling him Siddiq, the trustworthy. We trust you, I trust you, people trust you, I remember you. Yusuf ayyuha siddiq Aftina fi sab'i baqaratin simani ya'kuluhunna sab'un ijaf Wa sab'i sumbulatin wa ukhara yabisat La'alli arji'u ilan Oh Yusuf, oh you trustworthy. Please give us the interpretation of this dream. Seven, you know, fat cows have been devoured by seven skinny ones and seven green ear uh, uh, ears of corn and seven dry ears of corn. Tell us what that means. Brothers and sisters, right away, Yusuf interpreted the dream. Why Yusuf? did not because he's wrongly accused why yusuf did not because this is the king having a dream why yusuf did not say well if you want me to interpret the dream for the king let the king free me first let him free me first let them free me i'm i'm, I'm innocent i did not do anything you come in asking for my help tell the king to free me first and then I will interpret the dream for him. Why didn't he do that, sisters and brothers? What do you think? Those of you on Facebook, those of you on Instagram, why?
faith in Allah. Faith in Allah. Okay, faith in Allah. So, طيب. faith in Allah. He learned his lesson. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. What else, brothers and sisters? What else? He had faith in God. Mm -hmm. Okay, Yashmin, he had faith in God. Facebook, are you guys participating or no? Because I've got people participating on Instagram. He needed permission from Allah or more Cain. He needed permission from Allah. He trusts Allah Lula Robe. He trusts that Allah Layla. He had faith in God. Akhlaq. Mu'nisa said Akhlaq. Hmm. Akhlaq. I maybe I disagree with all of you, although you all are right in your in your suggestions or maybe your answers, but I disagree with you somewhat. I don't think this is the main reason why he did not, you know, tell them, let the king, you know, um, free me first before I, uh, I, um, I know, I interpret the dream. I maybe, you know, disagree with you here. Uh, do you want me to give you my opinion? I know it's too early, but maybe it will look nice with a, a, a cliffhanger. Do you want me to give you my answer? I can give you my answer right now. I can give you my answer right now. Mm. I can give you my answer right now. All right. So let me interpret the dream for you, first of all. all right. Let me interpret the dream for you. Oh, not first of all. He said, he said, Yusuf said, This is verse 48 onwards. 47, 48. And 49. He said, قال تزرعون سبع قال تزرعون سبع سنين دأبا فما حصدتم فما حصدتم فذروه في سنبله إلا قليلا مما تأكلون ثم يأتي من بعد كث ثم يأتي من بعد ذلك سبع شداد سبع شداد يأكلن ما قدمتم لهن يأكلن ما قدمتم لهن إلا قليلا مما تحصنون ثم يأتي من بعد ذلك عام ثم يأتي من بعد, من بعد ذلك عام فيه يغاث الناس فيه يغاث الناس وفيه يعصرون He says for seven consecutive days. This is something that's going to save them. This interpretation of this dream is going to save Egypt from famine. All people, all tribes from different other you know, nations and countries will start going to Egypt to get help from Egypt. Because subhanAllah, the interpretation of this dream saved Egypt. So he told them, for seven consecutive years, you shall sow as usual. And that the harvest which you reap, you shall leave in ears, all except little of which you will consume. So like when you have this corn, right? You know, when you take and the harvest from corn, because they used to eat corn at the time, a lot, you know, corn and rice. So he said, you know, once, you know, once the, for that, you know, seven consecutive years, only utilize, you know, when you take the corn, you know, uh, 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 leave in ears, except that which you will eat. Look. Subhanallah, leave in the ears except that you will, you will consume. Whatever you will consume, then you can, you know, you can remove it from the ears so you can consume it. But anything else, although you take from the harvest, but leave it in its ears. Why? Because subhanallah, it will not rotten, it will not go bad. It will not rotten, it will not go bad, it will still remain good. So he's thinking. And he says, you will come after that seven hard years. This is why you should do that. My brothers and sisters, had you known that Corona will come in 2020, would you be spending your money the way you were spending it in 2019? Would you be wasting not only money, your money, food, whatever, you know, toilet paper. People were going crazy with toilet paper. <laughs> we have water, but it's all right. You know, would you, had you known that Corona would be coming in 2020? Wouldn't you have some savings done in 2019 and 2018 to prepare yourself for Corona 2020? For COVID-19, wouldn't you? Had I known that Corona will be coming in 2020? Of, 
Of course, you would have plans in 2019 and 2018 and 17, getting ready for 2020 because 2020 would be tough. People will lose their jobs. Businesses will shut down. Massage will shut down. Things will happen. So you will have some savings. This is what Yusuf did to them right here. He helped them save up for those upcoming years that will have drought and famine. People will, you know, will, will suffer from drought and famine. And, and Egypt, because they worked out you know, you know, ahead of time on their savings, they had surplus. They were fine. Surplus so much so that they were feeding themselves and helping other you know, tribes and other towns. Subhanallah. Because Yusuf السلام, interpreted that dream for them again. Seven hard years which you will devour what have laid by an advance for, the, for them except a little of that which you have guarded. So my brothers and sisters, he interpreted that dream beautifully. And that's exactly what happened. So now the king, he heard about the interpretation. He felt happy. He felt happy. He said, وَقَالَ الْمَلِكُ أُتُونِي بِهِ وقال الملك أتوني به فلما جاءه الرسول فلما جاءه الرسول قال رجع إلى ربك قال رجع إلى ربك فاسأله ما بال النسوة التي قطع أيديهن ما بال النسوة التي التي قطع أيديهن إن ربي بكيدهن عليم so now the king heard about the, the interpretation of the story. He's happy now. He knows he's no longer perturbed and confused. He says, call Yusuf. Call him. Bring it out. Bring him out. Yusuf still does not want to come out. <laughs> he still does not want to come out. No, I'm not coming out. Why, my brothers and sisters? This is a matter of honor. You know, Yusuf wants to come out free and innocent. I'm not doing you a favor. And you bring me out. This is why he did not come out. This is my reasoning. This is my reasoning why he did not, you know, say, well, you guys free me and then I will interpret the dream. That means you did it. You're asking for, you know, we, 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 you serve us, we serve you. You give us, you know, like we work out a deal. There is no deal. So Yusuf does not want no deal because he's innocent. He's innocent initially, you know. So he says, you know, the first time he, said he interpreted the dream. The second time when the king called him, he says, no, nope, I'm not going out. Tell the king about those women. Ask them, tell them first, because he wants to get his innocence out of jail, from out of jail. He wants to clear his name and to clear his reputation and to clear his honor. Once his honor gets cleared from outside, then he can go out from jail, his head up, not his head down, his head up. Does that make sense, brothers and sisters, now? Does that make sense? Yes, whatever you said, it's all true, but this is it. This is really it. Do you make? Do you understand? Do you get what I'm saying, my brothers and sisters? Why he did not come out from prison, even when the king told them, "Go and get him out." He says, "No, I'm staying in jail until you guys go and and, and sort out that issue with with the women because it was all about my honor. I was wrongly accused of wanting people wanting to you know these women wanted to commit adultery with me and I refused, but they made me." The one who's accused, they made me the one who is actually, you know, the bad man. So let me clear my name first. That's exactly, that's why he didn't, even after the king called him. So the man went and he told the king. Then the king brought the women, including the wife of that minister of Egypt. And my brothers and sisters, look what happened here. Subhanallah. Yes, the, the, the women, you know, we'll talk about this. The women, they will, you know, uh, admit. And that woman will admit. Because she says here, the king says, قالت امرأة العزيز الآن حصحص الحق أنا راودته عن نفسه وإنه لمن الصادقين ذلك ليعلم أني لم أخنه بالغيم وأن الله لا يهدي كيد الخائنين وما أبذئ نفسي وما أبذئ نفسي إن النفس لأمارة بالسوء إلا ما رحم ربي 
إن ربي غفور رحيم. The king asked them, Why did you try or why did you sought to seduce Yusuf عليه السلام? You sought to seduce him. راوتنا يوسف عن نفسه. They said, حاشا لله ما عاد الله. No, we did not. حاشا لله. We did not know any, you know, we, 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 he was clear. We did not do that. He was clear and we did not think anything bad about him. حاشا لله. ما علمنا عليه من سوء. We did not know that he was a man of, of wrong. No, ما علمنا عليه من سوء. And then once they said that, then the wife of that minister, she spoke up and she says, الآن حس حس الحق. The truth has spoken. The truth shall be revealed. The truth shall be revealed. الآن حس حس الحق. Verily, the, you know, uh, the truth shall manifest or shall be manifested. The truth shall be manifested. Now, my brothers and sisters, you may be wronged. Maybe people may have, you know, wrong, wrongfully accused you of things. But subhanAllah, you know, sooner or later, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, will clear your name, inshaAllah ta'ala. And my brothers and sisters, the truth shall always be manifested. Rest assured. Rest assured. Wallahi ladi la ilaha illahu. I swear by Allah who holds my soul, my brothers and sisters. If you've been wrongfully accused by maybe even your family. Wallahi, I know subhanAllah sisters, girls, girls who they tried subhanAllah even members from their own families, ankles, ankles or stepfathers try to harass them. Sexually harass them. Right? And then when these girls, they start to speak up, they were the ones being wrongfully accused. And they said, no, you're saying wrong. You're saying this because you want problems. You're saying this because you want to divide the family. You're saying this, you're saying that. They are the ones who actually been wronged. لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. My brothers and sisters, wallahi, if you have been wronged by your loved ones or friends or enemies or whatnot, do not worry. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala later or sooner. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will clear your name and clear your honor and the truth shall always be manifested. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Look how many years Yusuf had to wait for his name to be cleared. But when he came out, he came out with his head up high. He came out with his head up high with his honor. And not only that, he came out with a very big position. A huge position. Yes, he was in jail. But he came out and Allah Azza wa Jal made changes. Yes, things will happen. When? When Allah wills. But you have to be patient. You have to be patient. It cannot happen overnight. And it may not happen overnight. But it shall come. And you will be always the winners. Trust Allah. Don't trust me. All right? Don't trust me. Trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will always be the winners inshallah ta'ala. People said things about you. They tried to, you know, fabricate lies against you, to demonize you, you know, and demonize your 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 name and your reputation. Allah subhanahu wa taala shall clear your name and your honor subhanahu wa taala later or sooner. Later or sooner. Ya ibadi, inni haramtu al-zulm ala nafsi wa jaltu bainakum muhrama fala tadalamu. O my servants. I have made dhulm, I have made oppression prohibited upon myself, and I have made it prohibited upon you. So do not oppress yourselves. Do not oppress yourselves. And do not oppress others. Allah says, don't oppress others. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will avenge you later or sooner. Okay, my brothers and sisters. So now, the beauty is, this, you know, the wife of the minister of Egypt, she will confess and she will blame her human self, the ego, and nafs. She will blame and accuse the human self and then Yusuf alayhi salam will take the position of that minister. Why? Look at all this orchestrated as I mentioned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why this minister? Remember I asked that question a lot, I know in a few sessions before when I said, you know, do you know, you know, why the minister of Egypt was the one who actually purchased Yusuf from, you know, from slavery? 
Yusuf was sold, was sold in the markets of Egypt as a slave. And subhanallah, the minister of, e of Egypt, the minister of finance, right, was the one who actually now, you know, purchased Yusuf as a slave and, and freed him. And he worked with him now, you know, in the palace. Yusuf had to work in the palace. Yusuf had to live in the palace. Yusuf had to learn from the minister of Egypt, of the minister of finance. Why? Because later on, Yusuf, he will become himself the minister of finance. Allah does things in a marvelous way. Allah works things in a marvelous way. Why the minister of Egypt? He had to live there. Just like Musa, alayhi salam, he had to live in the palace of Fir'aun. <laughs> he had to live in the palace of Fir'aun. Wait until we talk about the story of Musa. Amazing. Wait, he had to live in the palace and to learn from Fir'aun and to learn things because later on, you, Musa السلام, will make things change. He will change everything. So Yusuf had to live in the palace and learn from the people in the palace. And he learned from a minister of the palace, of the finance. But later on, he will take his position. My brothers and sisters, subhanallah. I will say this. Write it down in gold. All right. Get ready. Get ready. Shehnaz Kabir, Taslim, Shehnaz, Yashmin, Layla, Mu'nisa, Nawal. Write this thing in gold. What if I'm going to say now? Write it in gold. Are you ready to write it in gold? Write it. Highlight it. Write it. Highlight it. Bring a, uh, 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 what do you call? What do you call the, uh, uh, the, 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 the maskhara, not the maskhara, not that clown thing, you know, the uh, lipstick, you know, the lipstick, you know, that you people put, what do you call it? the lipstick that women put? What do you call that? I forgot. I don't know because I don't put it. <laughs> I don't put it. I don't know. What did, I forgot the name of it. What do you call that lipstick that women put? Did they call it lipstick? You know, what do you call it? Lipstick? Okay, lipstick. So it is. It is. Bring lipstick and then after you write my note, kiss it and so it, it, it'll have that, that lipstick uh, sign in it. Highlight it, whatever it is, you know. But remember, are you guys ready? Huh? Are you guys ready, inshallah ta'ala? Here it is. Here it is, my brothers and sisters. Here it is. Here is my 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 one million dollar golden advice. Brothers and sisters, if we were to see the unseen. If we were to see the ghayb, al ghayb, al ghayb, the unseen, we will only choose what Allah has chosen for us. Write it down in gold, bring that lipstick, put it on, and kiss it to put a to make sure it uh, it sticks right there. Highlight it, whatever. Saadia Khan, she says she had red and green. Okay, red and green pants will work. You know, write this. Kiss it, highlight it, do whatever it is in gold. My brothers and sisters, if you and I were to know the ghayb, the unseen, we will only choose what Allah has chosen for us. Yusuf alayhi salam. Yusuf alayhi salam. A person. If he says, you're going to go to jail. No, before jail, you're going to be thrown in, the, in that pit. No, I don't want to be thrown in the pit. I don't want to be thrown in that well. You're going to go to jail. You're going to be accused. No, 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 no. Uh, but you don't know what's going to happen at the end. Look at the very end. It all came back to the, you know, the subhanallah. It all came back in the favor of Yusuf alayhi salam. That's why I'm saying here, if you and I were to know the unseen, we will only choose what Allah has chosen for us. Don't say Mu'nisa. Don't say Munazza. Don't say Sa'diya and Umar and Khadija. Don't say, had I done this? This thing wouldn't have happened. Had I gone there, this thing ha wouldn't have happened. Had I not married him, this thing wouldn't have happened. Had I married her, this thing wouldn't have happened. Had I this, had I that, had I... Don't say low. In Arabic, it's called low. Don't say low. Low opens the door of shaitan. Don't. Do you get it, my sisters and brothers? Do you understand? Do you, do you feel it? Do you feel me? Do you feel what I'm saying here? Huh? Somebody talk to me. Somebody talk to me. Do you guys get it? 
if you were to see the unseen, if you and I were to see the unknown, the ghayb, we will only choose what Allah has chosen for us. We will only choose what Allah has chosen for us. Yes. You got it? Deep stuff. It is very deep, man. Or the woman, because you're the woman, it's a deep. It is. So what's going to happen next? Oh, what's going to happen next? I'm going to move you from this scene and take you to another scene, another beautiful scene with lots of lessons, lots of amazing, amazing lessons, inshallah, my brothers and sisters. I will stop here. Barakallahu feekum. Mazakum Allah khair. Thank you for joining. May Allah bless you all. May Allah reward you all. Barakallahu feekum. Please, as I said in the beginning, this is for those who've come in late, brothers and sisters, those who have come in late, I said, you know, in the very beginning, uh, a, a quick side note uh, with regard to these first 10 days of the Hijjah, try to do a little bit more of what you used to do because these days are really very beloved, very, very, very uh, precious in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So sisters and brothers, please, you know, like I said, if you were to pray only five daily prayers, then pray the sunan, you know, increase. If you do already pray sunan, then pr pray nawafil, pray nawafil, nafil, you know, voluntary prayers. You know, if you read the Quran, you know, if you read, let's say, one juz of the Quran normally, then read, you know, two juz, a little bit more for these 10 days. If you read one page a day, then read two pages. If you don't read the Quran, then read the Quran. If you, you know, whatever that you're doing from good deeds in these 10 days, inshallah, please increase it. Increase it a little bit more, right? Whatever you do in good deeds, increase it because these are the best, beloved days in the sight of Allah. Better than Ramadan, better than any any other days during the year. So inshallah ta'ala with that advice, I shall tell you all. Azakum Allah khair. Barakallah fikum, my brothers and sisters. Thank you, Instagram. Thank you, Facebook. Thank you, Shahnaz. Thank you, Tasneem. Thank you, Saadi Khan. Thank you, Omar. Omar bin Ali. Thank you, Iman. Thank you, Zoya. Thank you, Munazza. Thank you, Yashmin. Thank you, Omer. Thank you, uh, who else? All of you. All of you here. Elias, Mu'nisa, uh, Amina, uh, Layla, Nawal. All of you here. Uh, all of you. Barakallahu fikum. Thank you. And those of you here. Thank you, Nasima. Thank you, Morkain. Morkain, God bless you too. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you for joining. Tomorrow is Friday. Don't forget to read Surah Al-Kaf, inshallah, tomorrow. Surah Al-Kaf, inshallah. Barakallahu fikum. And do Qiyam al tonight. Even sisters who uh, cannot pray, wake up tonight before Fajr and make dua and make dhikr. You can do that. You don't have to pray, but you can make dua and you can make dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? So, and those of you who normally pray, do please, inshallah, wake up before Fajr and do Qiyam al tonight, inshallah ta'ala. May Allah bless you all. Jazakum Allah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. See you tomorrow, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Tomorrow is my... Uh, poet, now my poem day. I will share with you that poem, inshallah, I told you about tomorrow, bi'ithnillah, that will summarize the story of Yusuf, alayhi salam. Thank you so much. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. And those of you who've come in late, please go back and watch the session. It's all, it's done. Uh, you will find it on Instagram. You will find it on YouTube. You will find it on uh, on Facebook as well. You know, we normally start at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, 11 o'clock p.m. UK Time, right? So we're done. Those of you who just came in, you know, you missed out. So please, you know, don't, you don't want to miss this session or the other sessions. You can always go back and watch them, inshallah. Alrighty? Jazakum Allah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum.